Hey everyone, welcome to another weekly bullet planner setup. Um, I got new washi tape. Oh, it's so pretty. This is from Michael's. I think it's a recollections set. Um, you know, I liked it because it seemed sort of um, 4th of July to me with like the red and the navy, but it wasn't cheesy. So it was... Uh, perfect to me and I decided to use it on this spread. Um, the colors in this floral um, one are so pretty. It's like navy with um, little uh, yellow and red in the middle of the flowers and super cute. Um, there's Addie. <laughs> uh, I really like this tape and you know I'm gonna be quite honest. I'm not I don't love how this turned out in the end so I think tomorrow uh, I will probably change it a little bit, but this navy washi tape I really like. You know, sometimes you just get going down the path and you're like, oh, it's too late to stop now, so you just keep going, even though that's the wrong decision. <laughs> Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Um, I decided that's a really thick thicker than normal washi, so I just decided to trim it to match the um, corners. Now, this is where I wish I would have gone with that other sort of leaf-shaped red one instead of this red pattern, um, because I just like it more, I think, in the long run. You can't really see the red pattern. It's like a, I think it's like a grid. I can't remember what it looks like, but... Um, I mean, it's cute. And then I trim that off. And then I add yellow along the edges. And that's where I think I'm not sure if I like it. Because then it looks, it starts to look a little like um, elementary school. Here are my primary colors, you know. Uh, so, I don't know. I think I might take off the yellow and just slap that down in my art journal for a later spread or something like that. But... I just got new washi tape and I got overly excited. And then when I was at Michael's the other day, I saw these stamps uh, on clearance. They were like $1.25 or something and I thought they were so pretty. So I was just looking at them seeing if I wanted to use them somehow. I end up using them on my daily boxes and they turn out really pretty. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Um, just doing some July lettering and with my gel pen I like to letter with my gel pen and then I thicken it up with my Tombow calligraphy pens same old same old I'm just doing the downstroke what sweetie what okay just a second love and then I am writing that this week is the second through the eighth I really need to find a spread of how to do sort of like calligraphy numbers. Does that make sense? Because I know how to do letters mostly, but I really don't like the way that my numbers turn out for some reason. So I'm thickening those up as well. That uh, Tombow calligraphy pen is probably one of my favorite pens, especially when you're trying to like thicken up strokes on words that aren't super big because it's just uh it's a littler it's got a littler tip so second through the eighth the numbers I could take or leave but it works and this is where I stuck some washi tape to kind of denote you know well, it's not really where my Miracle Morning goes anymore, even though I am wanting to do it still. Um, but I like to uh, block off that top space where I'm usually sleeping and to write the weather for the week. But I just don't like this washi tape that I picked. I thought it looked kind of like um, fireworks. They're actually like little flowers, I think. But I'm just not, I'm not obsessed with it. So I think that might be going too. The Way of the Dinosaurs, Dunzo. Um, 
I stuck in a sticky tag for July so that I could find it, and then I'm moving my weekly tag to this week. I love those sticky tags, ma'am. And then this is where I get out my fancy stamp block that I bought the same day that I got my um, clearance stamps because Michael's was having a 50% off coupon. So I thought, you know, be an adult, buy a stamp block so you're not an animal. And then as I go, I get better with these stamps. You kind of have to like rock them back and forth to get the best print. Um, but I think they're really pretty. And I also think it'll be good to practice like kind of cursive hand lettering because there's letters that I really suck at like W's and T's um, and F's. Um, and I like the way these look, so it'll give me a good idea of how to write those pretty in cursive. So I really like this stamp. Um, and then they have the abbreviated, like, mun, twos, you know, so I could, I was thinking about doing them in the weekly spread, but I couldn't figure out how to make it work this week. I'm taking my Tombow calligraphy pen and just darkening in where the stamp didn't uh, transfer all the way. Goodbye. I think those um, those stamps are, ooh, I'll have to link them below. I can't remember. Sorry. But I like the way it looks. It's almost too fancy for me. It's like, whoa, who are you? You're too elegant. You can't, this can't be Emily. This is, this is too elegant looking. So I'll have to find a way to make it my own, jack it up somehow. I use the stays on ink because it stays on. And that's the end of this first week of July setup. Tomorrow it may look completely different, but thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe and come back again. Thanks.